What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and uh, today we're looking at a, I, I don't even know, I guess like a firebox deck. It's like Turtonator, Ho Oh, Volcanian, Volcanian. Like, it's like a firebox. There's really not a main attacker anymore. I guess you could say the main attacker is Turtonator, or maybe Ho Oh GX. It's kind of up to you. It's kind of like who you start with, too. Uh, I do like Turtonator as attacker. He's really, really good. Um, but this actually got first place and. Man, I don't know how to say this name, but Bilbao, Bilbo, Bill Bay, Bill something, B-I-L-B-A-O. Sorry, guys. I'm bad at English. I'm just bad at talking, I guess, in general. But it was over in North in Spain, so uh, they had a, it's called a special championship. It wasn't a special event, sorry. Uh, it's not a regionals. It's a, it's barely under regionals, um, but still, I mean, this weekend we had, you know, regionals in Hartford, Connecticut, and then we also had a special event over in Bilbao, whatever, I don't, I don't know how to say it. But uh, it did win the whole tournament, so there we go. Congratulations. What about Nico? So thank you, Nico, for sharing your list on Limitless TCG. Make sure you check them out, Limitless TCG. They're really good. They post a bunch of stuff on their on their uh, Facebook page. I'll leave a link down below to their uh, store. Not to the store, to the uh, their Facebook page. But he would win in the finals. Uh, I think he beat Seismitoad in the finals, if I remember correctly. I think that's what he won against. Um, but let's see. Uh, he would beat the the 60 card mirror in top four he would beat uh drampa size to garbo to top eight and robin and uh oh no no these are not who he beat um he just played the same list as nico and lost uh yeah okay yeah nico beat the the mirror in, in, in top four but they're talking about the other limitless people like philip uh from limitless got top eight with drampa size to garbo and robin uh got top 16 with dark right that's what they were saying there it took me a second to click in my head but enough about that let's go over this super aggressive ho oh gx turtonator gx volcanian deck so like i said your main attack of course is going to be a turtonator gx he's got that bright flame attack it does 160 and you discard two fire g from this pokemon he also has that shell trap attack it does 20 and then when you attack him you get bop with 80 and then Nitro Tank GX get five energies from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you want to. You do have Ho Oh GX, and he's coming out of 10 too, so make sure you get your Ho Oh GX 10s. So those are really nice. Uh, 190 HP, and he's got that attack Phoenix Burn. It does 180, and you can't uh, you can't use Phoenix Burn again, but still not gonna matter. We're gonna try to get that turn too. Uh, Sick of Fire does 50 to 20 your opponent's Pokemon, and Eternal Flame GX. Don't worry about it; it's bad. All right, so that's our two main attackers. But of course, we got Baby Volcano with the Power Heater, uh, 20, and get two fire energies out and 100 damage steam artillery you play three volcano EXs for that steam up to discard fire g you do additional 30 damage and that's how your turnator is going to take some they're going to take some knockouts uh bright flame plus a, a uh, bright flame plus a steam up is usually a knock on a lot of pokemon and two it's definitely a knock on a bunch of pokemon so that's really cool there um but he also has volcano heat for 130 if you want to go that way which is pretty nice three lele because you don't want to miss the supporter card it, two Shaman EX, and this will be all the Pokemon you play. Now, this deck is very, very fast. It's, it wants to be very consistent. It wants to get that turn one attack off, and that's what we try to do here. Uh, one Computer Search, you know, consistency. One Fill Bar, I guess, you know, tools are bad. You know, you discard some tools. Maybe playing a Scarboder could be good. Uh, four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker. Now, that's playing three Scorched Earth. The discard a Fire to your draw two cards, and that's because you are playing four Blacksmith. A blacksmith lets you attach two fire energies from your discard to one of your fire Pokemon. And the great thing about this is Turtonator GX only needs those three energies. So if you can get three energies on Turtonator turn one with a blacksmith and fire, you can do 160 damage. With the steam up, you can take a knockout. So that's really, really cool there. Uh, two Guzma, of course. Uh, this is It seems kind of weird because you're playing Guzma, but you got to think you're attacking with Ho -Oh GX with that Phoenix Bird. So you want to put your Ho -Oh back on the bench and send it back up and swing that way if needed. Uh, one Karen, which helps you win like the Night March uh, match pretty easily because all you do is you Karen plus Shell Trap and you just win. Like you Shell Trap and you knock out like a Punkaboo or like a, a Joltig pretty easily because you steam up. And then you like, if they attack you, then they take 80 damage to get knocked out again. So you can see why it's really good matchup. And plus Karen them every turn and they have to swing 190 is very, very hard. 
Uh, two Kiawe, you get four energies on one of your fire Pokemon, but then your turn ends. But that's fine, because technically what you want to do, turn one is Kiawe onto a turn eight or in a, a Ho-Oh, and then your turn just ends. You're like, whatever, I don't care. I'm going to blow you up next turn. I'm going to do a ton of damage and start winning the game there. Uh, one in, four Juniper, two Flowstone, and 17 Fire Energy. Yeah, 17 Fire Energy. We're not going to miss a Fire Energy here. We're going to be super consistent, find a Fire Energies for our Blacksmith, uh for you know the good old steam up there's no like energy retrieval there's no fishman all we're relying on is hitting those fire energies they being super consistent and that's what we're going to see today is this very fast like hard hitting fire attack and like i said your main attackers are going to be turtonator and this ho o gx but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching congrats to nico for winning the special championship and bilbo i guess i don't know how to say it i just i want to say bilbo because like bilbo baggins from lord of the rings but Whatever, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Check out Limitless TCG down below uh, to their face page, uh, and uh, let's see the deck in action. All right, somebody gets dead Mirage. Oh, it looks like they have the advantage playing a Psychic and Colors deck. Is it Gengar? Do they know about the power of Gengar? The Tapu Koko Gengar deck. Uh, there's no Lightning, so it's not Tapu Koko. But we are going first, which is fantastic. Maybe get that turn with Kiawe. You always want to go first, no matter what. Not going second is not a bad thing either. Um, but our hand right now is very interesting. All right, so put down the Turnator. And what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do is Ultra Ball discard two Fire Degrees, a Blacksmith to the active, grab a Shaman and set up. That could be a way. Oh, and it is a Trevenant deck. Now, how does this deck play against Trevenant? I don't exactly know. <laughs> uh, okay, so we top deck a Lele, which means we Kiawe turn one. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to Ultra Ball discard double Fire. Okay. I'm going to grab... Uh, ho -Oh GX. Hmm. And what we could do is turn on Kiawe on a ho -Oh, But then we don't have any supporter cards, so I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So what I'm going to do is grab a Shaman. Yeah, I'm going to grab a Shaman here. Okay, we'll grab a Shaman. We will put down a Lele. Okay, yeah. We're going to grab a Kiawe. Because we discard two Fire Dudes. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is grab a Kiawe. Put a fighter in the active and play the Kiawe. Put a four degrees on the active Turtonator. All right, and what this will allow us to do is attack twice with this Turtonator. Uh, we'll be able to blow a bunch of Pokemon, and I think that's fine. Like having back-to-back -back attacks with Bright Flame is going to be fantastic. We're just going to one-shot Phantom, one-shot Phantom, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, he can get a Trevenant out here, but Turtonator is going to at least take two knockouts with our Bright Flame before he can even really attack here, which is great. Alright, and I think that's the best way to do it. Now, we do have Shaman in hand, so we can Shaman set up. We do have a Blacksmith, so we can commit, we commit four, two more Fire Digis on this Turtonator and just say, you know what, I'm just going to knock you out with this one Turtonator and just kind of call it from there. Uh, that I think it's a fine play. Like, even if he plays, like, the Crush Namer variant, which we see a lot, it's not going to matter. We're going to have so many Fire Digis on this Turtonator and he's not going to be attacked for a long time. So we do see a, black, uh, a Battle Compressor. Discarding an N and a uh, Wally. There's a Sycamore, so he's going to discard a bunch of cards. He needs to find another Pokemon. You see him discarding a Team Flare Gun. He cannot play that. Um, we have five energies on the active. And there's another Phantom coming down. But we are going to Blacksmith to the active. There's another Phantom coming down as well. And yeah, we're just going to Blacksmith to the active. And I wonder if our opponent will even go for a, an Ascension here. If he ascensions, he knows he's losing a Trevenant, and that'd be one less Trevenant in his deck. It is not going to survive. There is a Dimension Valley coming down, and will he just wait to evolve, or will he just evolve? And he is going to ascension. I do not think this is a good play at all. All right, so he's going to ascension, get the Trevenant out, going to get the item locking up, but it's really not going to matter. We are going to Blacksmith to the active. Uh, going to put two more Fire Dudes on there. We are going to Shaman, set up for five new cards. We even have a Guzma if we need to use it as well. So we'll, we'll draw a bunch of cards. There is a Fire Energy, so put it on a Turtonator. And we will just go for the Bright Flame for 160, knocking out that Trevenant going down to uh, four, uh, five price cards. So we get a Fire Energy. Um, we could have attached. Um, yeah, maybe should have attached, but... I think it's fine. If we attach, we'll have six. We'll lose two. We'll be down to four. There is a nest ball, and I wonder what this will grab. The only thing I'm scared of is maybe another as a Tapu Lele of himself. Um, that seems pretty bad for us. Maybe we shouldn't have benched the Turtonator because that is a Guzma target, but we have a Guzma in our hand. Uh, if you like Sanders, we have our own Guzma. Um, they're going to nest ball. Not going to find anything, which is good news for us. 
There's a trying to come up to the bench, which is definitely the correct play here. Uh, there's a psychic to go up to the bench. And let's see what he decides to do here. Just go to Ascension. Going to get another Trevenant out. Now, we could go for Guzma and knock out the bench, but it's really not really going to benefit us too well. I am just going to put a Fire Energy on the active. Uh, so put the Fire Energy on the active. Put down the Scorched Earth, and we will Bright Flame again. Uh, just taking a knockout, going down to four prize cards, and we'll have four energies left on this Turtonator, going down to four. There's another Fire Energy going to our hand, and let's see, what can this Trevenant do? We just did, had so many energies turn one uh, without Kiawe, then Blacksmith. There's a Trevenant coming down, which still has 160 HP, so we can knock that out pretty easily. There's a Psychic Energy going to the active, a Shaman going to set up for a whole new six cards, but he needs to find a way to get this Turtonator out of the active spot. But even if he does that, we do have a Guzma. Uh, there's a rescue star going to the active, okay? And uh, he does play a VS Seeker, so he can back to back like uh, Wally into Trevenant, but he will not be able to get a Trevenant break. And uh, let's see what he decides to do here. We are down multiple fire energies, but since we play 17, it's not going to really matter too much. If we talk to like a blacksmith, it'll be even better. But right now, we might just see a Silent Fear doing 30 to everybody. There's a Necrozma GX coming out. Now, this could be the game changer right here. This Necrozma is very, very scary. Using that Black Ray GX, be able to do 100 damage to all of our bench GX and EX Pokemon, could easily win him the game. But we do see a VS Seeker. This is going to grab an end and put us down to four cards. But as long as we... I mean... As long as we find a Fire Energy, we're good to go. We could do another Bright Flame for 160. And let's see what four cards we get. There is a Karen and a Fire Energy. So that is a great hand. And a Shaman as well. Alright, so... But the problem with Necrozma, as you can already tell, is he can knock out the Shaman after he uses the Silent Fear attack. But does he find another Phantom? If he does not, he will not have another Tremnant put down onto the field. And this Turtonator is going to start going crazy here in a second. So let's see, what will our opponent do? Is this one Turtonator enough to win the game? We will see a, uh, one Silent Fear come down. Putting 30 damage on everybody. Uh, we'll probably just commit a Fighter just to the active. Blow him up. There's an Ultra Ball. Uh, we know his other Phantom is prized. We saw him use Nest Ball, not grabbing anything with the Nest Ball. He could have gotten a Crossman with it earlier. Uh, he discards like a Crossman and a Trevenant Break. Okay. And uh, let's see what he decides to get here. Maybe a Lele. Okay, nope, not going to grab anything. And maybe he's not playing Lele. There's another Shaman coming down. Probably looking for a Super Rod. Just wants to be able to, you know, put some more Phantoms back into his deck. He has 20 cards left um, already. So, <clears throat> it looks like Turtonator is dominating right now. Um, we'll probably see Silent Fear doing 30 to everybody. And this is the Krosma. When he gets two energies on him, he can use Black Ray GX. But he already committed energy to the active, so he can't attach anything to this Necrozma. And my opponent is in a very, very difficult spot. I don't know how he's going to be able to win this, but we'll find out together. I guess the only thing right now that we really don't have going for us is we don't have a uh, Volcanian EX on the bench to boost up our Volcanian our Turnator damage. So on to our turn, we will put a Fire Energy on the active, and I think right now we're just going to go for Bright Flame for 160, taking the knockout, going down to three prize cards. We do lose two more Fire Energies, but I think that's going to be okay. There's a ho -Oh GX coming down. I uh, really, not really going to matter too much about that. We do see that all that stuff going to return back into his hand. And on to our opponent's turn, he will send up the Necrozma. Necrozma is the only thing safe that cannot be knocked out straight away. There is a Dimension Valley coming down, which we can immediately counter with our own Scorched Earth. There's a Phantom coming on the field as well. And the big question, can we get a Volcanion with a Fire Energy? If we do, we'll be able to use that Bright Flame for 190, knocking out his Necrozma GX. There is a Tapu Layla coming down, and I imagine we're going to see it in here. Uh, going to put us down to three cards. So let's see what does this in do for my opponent. Uh, and yep, there's an in. Now either way, what we can do is just Shell Trap and then Bright Flame, especially if he misses the energy. If he misses the energy, he's in trouble for sure. So we see a Rescue Star. Go into the bench, Phantom. Just wants to protect it, saying, hey, please don't knock out my Phantom. I need him to survive. There's an Ultra Ball. And let's see what he gets here. He is He's just thinning out his deck. He wants to guarantee an energy attachment to that bench, Phantom. Uh, maybe to the active Necrozma. That Necrozma can't Black Ray GX right now uh, to knock out the Shaman. But that's if it survives his turn. All right, so this card's an Enhanced Tamer and a Juniper. Or Sycamore, sorry. Uh, hand saber not that useful. We do not play any special fire energies or any special energies in general. So we are down six fires in the discard pile, three on the active. So we have nine, but we have eight more. All right, so there we see an in. 
Uh, gonna put us down to three while he gets six. I still don't know why I really bench this Turnator. That's definitely the problem I have right now. And oh my goodness, with the cards, we get exactly what one. There's the ADC going to the active. So we will see a Black Ray GX taking a knockout on this Shaman EX. Going down his four prize cards, but... Uh, we're gonna, I'm, if we whiff a knockout here, it'd be pretty crazy. So we see 100 damage going to everybody, alright. And the only thing I'm scared of, like I said, is a Tapu Lele that could uh, knock us out this falling turn. So, we put down the Volcanion. We will use the Steam Up Attack, discarding the Fire Energy. And we are going to Shaman set up for five new cards. And let's see, what do we find here? I'm hoping for a Fire Energy attachment and a Blacksmith. And that's exactly what we find. So we'll put a Fire Energy on the active. We'll put down the Scorched Earth. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be a Seeker for double Blacksmith. I'm going to Blacksmith to the active and Blacksmith and have a Blacksmith next turn. No, I'm going to Blacksmith to the bench. Sorry. Uh, let's put two in the bench. And then we'll be a Seeker for another Blacksmith. All right, so we'll be a Seeker for another Blacksmith. Okay. I'm going to put down a Volcanion, and I am going to Bright Flame for the knockout going down to one prize card. Now, I decided to bench the Volcanion just in case he ends us. We don't draw back into it. We really don't need it. Uh, what we need to find is a, one of those Blacksmiths, which we did VS Seeker for. And that's the case. He does get that uh, that tre Trevenant out. Uh, we have one in hand, and uh, we're looking good. All right, so there's a Mitch Valley immediately coming down. Okay, but even then, he cannot attack this turn. This, this Trevenant has to go the different distance. And uh, that end for us was very, very good. It, it helped us out very well. And now the Turtonator is becoming very useful. Now, even then, I could have just probably just uh, Blacksmith onto the Volcanion. A Volcanion Heat does knock out a Trevenant uh, for sure. So, see, Ultra Ball, goodness card, a Nest Ball, and an AZ. And I wonder if he plays a third Necrozma. Nope, there's a Trevenant come down. Necrozma is the only thing really that can help him not lose. But even then, we have Blacksmith plus Fire Energy in our hand, which can knock out pretty much everybody with this one Turtonator GX. So we see a, a Psychic going to go into the active. And uh, if he does not end here, we definitely have the win. He has played... Uh, there's a Lele coming down. He's already played two ends. Uh, he probably plays a third one, uh, knowing Trevenant. He's going to end us down to one. Oh, there's a Wally, actually. All right, so he's going to Wally into a Trevenant break. Uh, but that is going to be game. We have the Blacksmith in hand. And he knows we have the Blacksmith in hand. So unless he has like an end prize or he only plays two. Uh, unless I'm missing something. And yeah, just nope. Just going to sign off here. He did get close. I will say uh, he would have won next turn. He would have knocked out the Turtonator, the Turtonator, and the Lele. But we have the Blacksmith. We could put two fighters on the active. Um, he knows we double VS Seeker last turn. Uh, we'll sure we'll steal our discard of fighter G and we'll bright flame for the knockout uh, Ticket of the game against the Trevenant break deck and there we go guys It might seem kind of scary because you know your item locked and everything like that But the turn one pressure with all those fighter G's was just too much for the Trevenant deck But we'll see one more game with this this super I don't know this super fire deck. I don't know firebox. I don't even know what you call it Terminator, Ho Oh, Volcanion. It's just everybody else. We dealt 860 damage. Uh, just doing a ton of damage that way. Uh, so yeah, MVP. We got that, that, that. All right, guys. But there we go. Oh, see. Oh, also, uh, thanks to everybody. If you want to see your opponent's decks, you can see this, and I'll show you that your opponent's decks. Uh, if they do have it, I put my opponents out last week. So thank you so much for pointing that out. If you click there, you can see your opponent's deck. You can't see it here, but if you click right here, you can't see it. Uh, I might have said this on Monday's video or Tuesday's. I'm, I'm recording Thursday's video first because this was the first regionals winner. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're not. We're not ending the video. We'll see another game with the deck here in a second. All right. Alright, so we get Vegeta SS100, and this kind of looks like it's a, I want to say like Night March, but then it has water and grass, so maybe Vespa Queen, um, and if it's water, then we're in trouble. Like, if it's the Vaporeon variant, then we are definitely in trouble here. Now, we start with ho GX, um, not really our preferred starter. Unless we can uh, top deck an Ultra Ball. If we top deck an Ultra Ball, do an Ultra Ball to Fire Energy's way. Draw a Shaman, put a Fire Energy in the active. And it is a... Ooh, ew, baby. This is even better. It is a Glissapod deck. Now, Glissapod is one of the hype decks uh, for sure. So, uh, you definitely see this deck. So, I wonder how can Glissapod handle this Ho-Oh uh, Fire deck. You know, they're kind of weak to fire. So, we'll see how this goes. 
I can, you know, I, I could easily lose this. Do not get it wrong. Glisspot is a very strong deck in general overall. I mean, so there's a Lele. Um, you got to think the Lele is going to go for a Sycamore since he discarded it in. Maybe going for a Hex. There's a Lele coming down. Okay. Well, let's see. What does the Wonder Tag get for my opponent here? I'm just hoping we try to get an Ultra Ball. And so Brigetti will come down. Because we can do 50 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, don't apply weakness or resistance to the bench. So there's a Bridget. Bevy. I think Rimmerade has 60 HP, so it's not going to matter either way if I want to do what I want to do. So see Bridget. Uh, maybe grab us some more Wimpods. Stuff like that. A Wimpod can two-shot us, but we could one-shot them. But we have plenty of Blacksmith and VS Seekers, stuff like that. So hopefully with that combination, we'll be able to win the prize exchange. But he can attack with stuff like Lele. Maybe use some Coco. Maybe has some interesting stuff. He does play Fighting, which I think is like, going to be a Soto Wudo. If I were to take a guess. The Water, it's definitely Octillery, so I'm not too concerned. At first, I thought it was going to be like a... Like a uh, Eevee deck or something. So let's see. Yeah, 60 HP. Can't knock that out. And it's a 70 HP. Uh, it's not allowed coming down just to shut down our abilities. And we get a Blacksmith. So I'm going to put a Fighter Gym in the active. I'm just going to Juniper discarding our stuff. Uh, putting two Blacksmith and two Fighters in the discard pile. We do find double Volcanion. So put down one. We'll put down two. And I'm actually just going to pass right now. Really don't want to do anything else. Um, there's really nothing else to really do here. Um, yeah, we can put down Scorched Earth and buff his Sound Lab and all that kind of good stuff. But I would have saved my Scorched Earth. We got the Computer Search if needed as well. And there's a Chorus. I didn't want to end him because I didn't know it was in his hand. But I did not expect a Chorus either. But, I mean, I think we're looking fine. Um, there's a Galissapod GX coming down. Okay. There's a Grass Energy. And is he going to swing? If he swings with this guy, we could definitely take a knock on here. Uh, we see Ultra Ball discarding Soto Wudo and a Wimpod. Uh, there's an Octillery coming down, okay. And, I mean, we got a, we got a Scorched Earth, we'll put that down. We're going to Scorched Earth, draw two cards, put a Fire Engine in the active, and either way, we, we can Computer Search for VS Seeker, or hopefully just hit a VS Seeker, and just knock out this Glisspod, since it is weak to that fire. Alright, so we see an Octillery coming down, using Bissell Hand. And will he attack here, or will he wait? No, he's going to send the Glisspod, he will, first impression for 120, uh, going to put some bread some damage on our ho o -Oh gx so there is a tapu lele so immediately we'll put down the scorched earth um we'll use the scorched earth discard a fire energy draw two cards all right i'm going to lele use the wonder tag going to find a blacksmith and going to put it on the active all right and that, that's just a good thing of why we play so many blacksmiths they're so good uh just be able to blacksmith we'll put some energies on here one and two okay uh, put a fighter gene on the active, and we'll go for that turn two Phoenix Burn. I uh, do it 180, 360 damage, going down to four prize cards. So we find a Shaman and a fighter gene, which are two good cards that will allow us to knock out, take a knockout with Volcanion. As long as he does the NS, we're looking very, very well for the following turn. Now, I was trying to think out can Coco take a knockout? If he has a DC choice band Kikui, he can take a knockout with Kiku with the Coco. That will do 70 damage, which will knock us out. Uh, but that's a lot to ask for. There's a Glisspod coming down. He just needs a Grass Energy, and he can take a knockout with his Glisspod. And it's going to be up to us to, to power up a Volcanion, which is not too difficult. There's a choice band going to the active. And uh, will he go for it in here? Maybe a Sycamore? Uh, what's in his hand? I, I don't know. I do not know. We'll have to find out here in a second. Uh, he does have that Abyssal Hand. And there's a Scoop Up Cyclone. Go pick up the Tapu Lele. It looks like he is using Zack Zamora's kind of list. All right, so we see a Wonder Tag. Going to find it in here, trying to just slow us down as much as he can. Just trying to, you know, going to end us. But as long as we find a VS Seeker and a Fighter G, we'll take a knockout with the Volcanion. I mean, Glisspot is just weak to gra a fire. It is probably uh, Glisspot's worst matchup. Now, he will take a knockout, though. I will tell you that he will take a knockout here 100%, unless he whiffs it. But there we see uh, a Computer Surge plus some Fighter Gs. There's a DC actually going to the active. All right, so he is going to go uh, Flying Flip Route. Uh, oh, it actually does 100 because we're weak to Lightning. I 100% forgot about that. Wow. Yeah, I forgot about the weakness there. But either way, I think we're looking great. So on our turn, we get a Floodstone. So I am going to Computer Search. I am going to discard the uh, Floodstone of Kiale for a, a Blacksmith. We could go Shaman. I'm just going to Blacksmith. Uh, two energies to the active. <clears throat> okay. We'll attach one. We will Scorched Earth, discarding the Fire to G. 
There's a Via Seeker and a Juniper. So right now, I'm just going to go for that Volcano Heat for 130. Taking a knockout going down to uh, three price cards. I forgot that he was weak to <laughs> to Lightning. I, You know, you see Hoji actually, you're like, oh, he's weak to Water. And you're like, no, he's weak to Lightning. And then I forgot he was weak to Lightning. But now, what can my opponent do here? Um, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, so he's not in such a bad spot either. Like, he can, like, flying flip for two turns. Oh, there's our Stretcher. Gonna put Smiley in his hand. I forgot 100% about that flying flip. That was cool. Uh, Coco will come into his hand. Um, yeah, what what does he hit off this? What do we get off our top deck? If we get a Fighter Jew, we can Guzma, bring up the Glisspod, take a knockout with the Lele. If he has a DC with this uh, Lele, 20, 40, 68, 100, he could do 150. They would see a DC going to the bench, actually. And they would see a Guzma. I'm going to bring up Volcanion up, which is very interesting, uh, because now we can Guzma, bring up his Glisspot, take a knockout that way, which is great for us. They receive 20, 20, 20. On to our turn, we get a Fire to G. So I'm going to put a Fire to G on this bench, uh, Volcan or the active Volcanion, actually. I am going to Guzma, bring up his Glisspot to send up a Volcanion. We will take a knockout here with a Volcanion Heat, going down to one prize card. Oh, man. All right, so there we go. Take a two prize cards. There's a Fire G and a Turnator G Axe, and there we go. My opponent is on the struggle bus right now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, he can do 130. He cannot knock us out with the Lele. All right, so let's see what is going to happen here. We do have a Via Seeker for Blacksmith, which can blow him up if we want to go that way. His only real safe Pokemon is going to be a Lele. There we see a Wind Pod coming down. Uh, luckily, Volcano has a two hundred, a three hundred tree cost, so we can't like Guzma up the Wimpod. There we see a DC going down to the top of Lele. Will he attack with the Lele here? Um, it's not a bad idea. Don't get me wrong; it is not a bad idea at all. It will do hundred damage, okay? And there we see Aided Drive for a hundred. All right, so on our turn, what do we want to do here? There's a Fire Energy and. Uh, I think that's actually game now. So, yeah, we're going to Via Seeker. Free Blacksmith. No, not a Guzma. Not a Guzma. No, we don't want to do Blacksmith. Oh, no. We get Blacksmith double fire to G. And no, my game's crashing. No, don't do that. We were going to win. No. No, please respond. Because we have the Via Seeker from Blacksmith. Put the footage in this guy. Double Steam. We're going to take a knockout. But no, my game is crashed. No, it says not responding. No, it doesn't want me to beat the Glisspod deck. But we would have taken it down. No, come on now. Come on, Pokemon. Oh, no. The game's crashing. I grabbed the wrong card. I grabbed the Guzma, and it's freaking out now. It's like, Squeaky, why did you grab the Guzma? You know you need the Blacksmith. Um, Oh, man. Please. Please fix yourself, Pokemon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But you, you see that we were going to win here. Um, Oh, no. My game's crashing. It says not responding. P PTC Joe's not responding right now. Come on. Come on, baby. Work for me. Oh, let's see if we can fix this, guys. Oh, no. My computer's not working at all. Oh, no. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Are we in there? No, no, the game. No, what happened? I don't even know what happened. Oh, no, we had the game. My game froze. What, what are we via sticker for? Oh, no, now we're going to lose. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! What happened? We didn't even they didn't even grab anything with the VS Seeker. I don't think it grabbed anything. Oh no! What happened? We had the game. No! No! All right, now we gotta figure out how to win this. It went from like really good to really bad real quick. Oh no! Now we're gonna lose. <laughs> All right, energy drive. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Pokemon, why you do this to me? All right, so we'll send up this guy. Goodness gracious, Pokemon. All right, there's a, t a Lele. Uh, he put down a Silent Lab. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. All right, put down a Turtonator. We'll put a Fighter Gym on Turtonator. With Juniper. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. All right, there's a Scorched Earth. Okay. Um, What we need now is a Flute Stone. All right, discard these two. Is there a Flowstone in here? There is a Flowstone, all right. So grab that guy, we'll put down Volcanion. This is kind of risky, uh, so I'm just gonna score start, discard a Fire Energy, come on, give me a Flowstone. That's not a Flowstone. All right, so I think I am just gonna pass here. 
I mean, if he has a a silver angle, he wins. Uh, yeah. How many silver angles has he played? We were going to win this game, guys. Now we're not going to. Goodness gracious. All right, so I, I think I'm going to go the safer play. Ultra Ball discard one and two. I need to dig for a flowstone here. Uh, we'll grab another Volcanian EX. Okay, we'll grab that. We'll put down the Volcanian X and we'll Shaman for six new cards. Um, he's got a billion cards on hand, so I want to be able to Volcan. I want to be able to use this guy. And we got the Flowstone. Let's put the Flowstone on the active. We will treat into the Turtonator GX, and we'll go for a Nitro Tank GX. And what I'm going to do here is grab those five energies. All right, so we got five energies. We'll put one on the active, and we'll put uh, one, two, three, uh, one on the Volcanian. All right, all right. But if he has Guzma, he can Guzma up the Shaman and win right now. We had the game in bag, guys. We had, we were going to win. And now, PDCO Crash and RIP Squeaky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Goodness gracious, guys. All right, but we'll see what happens. Maybe he doesn't have it. But, I mean, he probably does. But, like, does he have Guzma and Grass Energy? He has not played it. He's played one Guzma so far and no VS Seekers. Oh, my goodness. This is how you can win against Volcania. If... If your computer crashes and you had the win, and for some reason, I don't think we, I think that VS Seeker was just wasted. I don't think we even grabbed anything. Goodness. Oh, goodness, Pokemon. Why'd you do this to me? All right, so we'll see. If he's got Grass Energy and Guzma, he wins right here. I mean, he's got a billion cards in hand. He's only played that one Grass Energy. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a Lele. Will the Lele find a Guzma? Wonder Tag. What will he tag for here? Tag him out. I'm scared. Oh, there's an N. Oh, oh, thank the Lord. That's not a Guzma. Don't slow roll me, opponent. Don't you do this to me. Vegeta. Super Saiyan 100. All right, there's a choice bank on a Coco. Okay. Don't care about that. He could have put on the, uh, on the Gless Pod. So he did have it. He did have the choice band in hand. There's a choice band. Okay. There's another choice band going to the active. Okay. All right. We're gonna see into one, into one, into one. What do we get here? We need three fire energies. Uh oh. It's not what we want to see. We had the game, guys. We were gonna win, and then and then the computer decided to pfft on me. It decided to die on me. Okay. All right. But we'll see. If we top deck a VS seeker, we got this. If, okay, Abyssal Hand, I don't care about those Abyssal Hands. If we hit a Via Seeker, a Fire Energy, a Guzma, an N, oh, a Juniper. We only have Juniper in there. We have four Blacksmith down. There's the Energy Drive for a billion damage. Let's see, what do we top deck here? Come on, give me something. There's a Fire Energy. All right, so we have two options here. We can either Scorch Jerk for two. Okay. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Scorch Jerk for two. Letting us draw some more. I think that's the correct play here. Um, we could go Volcanian, but then... If he has a Guzma, he wins. So let's go. Come on, baby. And we got a Kiawe. No, that's not what we wanted. No. <laughs> okay. So maybe, maybe have put the fire engine in the active retreat in the Volcanian would have been a better play there. I don't know. Well, now we lose. Uh, we still try for 20 and then he wins. We would have won the game though, guys. We would have done this. We would have won. But uh, I don't know what to say. Like, we got... I mean, he just, like, swings now, and we, he just wins. All right, whatever. Ace roll, I don't care. Send your ghost pot in. We we know we won, guys. We know we won that game. We know. He cheated. He he cheated, and he messed up our computer. He attacked us via the internet and, and messed up my computer, and that's how he won. We know we were going to win, and we had that. We had the Blacksmith double fire to win the game, but, like, we even VS Seeker and nothing happened. What, where did that VS Seeker go? I don't understand. We won that game, guys. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> but guys, hope we join this video. My goodness. It was so a heart wrenching game right at the very end. Can we see our opponent's deck or not? I just really guess we I guess I clicked the wrong button. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Guess Ghost Pod beat Volcanian, kind of. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.